So flip side, Radiant and so back. You're up against a uh, fair amount of stun, fair amount of damage, Ten a lot of push. You would just drop in a tower. So. Well, Weird. So bottom lane, Bunskull gonna boulder himself forward towards Puppy. The iron shells are being brought up. Cedo is actually burning very heavily because of that. Puppy needs one more attack and he's gonna get it. That is a very, very, a seven armor and almost envy. They have to hit a very nice shadow wave and that is very difficult versus the ranged terror blade. At least they get some good timing when Pylai Dai is leaving. Uh, at the same time, Slark just got solo. No, there were two of them together. It was Ogre and, and Pop into this Og uh, into this Alchemist. The Alchemist has 14 CS. It's not that bad when you've got Greaves to try and offset it a little bit, but still, you're being out CS by a Terra Blade in mid lane. And you're not finding any real answers. In fact, you're losing too many heroes. Now it's up to Cedoy. The Ignite, the Stun, the Iron Shells are up as well. And, uh, well, no Dark. It's, he took forever to Dark Pact, in fact. This is a super easy game for Bulba, though. Uh, they're gonna find another one. Disruption. Again, they move for the Surround around the Dazzle. He does not have Shallow Grave. So Poison from Pylite Dai should even get the kill, but it's gonna be a four kill streak now arriving for Bulba. Save me while I was just trying to farm up the uh, the camps quickly, and it's going to be the poor little Dazzle who comes in close. And he activates the double damage. He just needs one more attack. Okay, make it two with the extra heal that was there. But that's a double damage Terra Blade doing over 260 damage. <laughs> Amplification through the roof. So he so, did by the math first. Uh, really Alchemist. Away doesn't actually have his chemical rage available. Now he does. Envy, one last attack will do the job. He only attacked with his illusion on that last one. But that is going to be the death of the Alchemist. And it uh, looks like RTZ does find that kill. He bought a full. We will send in illusion for Zedoy. The pounce away down to 2 HP. And the poison, he has to leap away to avoid it. And that's going to be Rosha. Uh, Okay, he gets half the life off Sarshlo. Not too bad for when he's going through a thousand HP. And, okay, Tapey Wild's in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Thought he could farm up up here after his teammate already abandoned him. This seems like a very disconnected flip side lineup. That is a very timely this room. High five for predictions. Ah, oh, it's easy. Instantly puts the point tag into work, attacking into the dazzle. Doesn't go a minute. Radiant's Why not, Team Secret? Just, it's, it's just, it's just secret things. Puppy, Ace Rune's up and uh, just charging forward. Sorry, they surged up, charging up after Vanspot, and they go, they just fall it. An 11 and a half minute GG call will arrive. Vanscore will drop, and the end score will be 12 to zero. That was. All right, that was fast. GG. GG. Yeah, that was kind of well warranted. I do not blame Flip Sled at all for that. I actually think that was a good move. Yeah. Nice try, Flip Side. It would it would have droned on. They, they, it's it's yeah. a hard time for them too. They understand these games don't mean anything for them anymore. It means something for Team Secret. They'll actually go up to five three, so they have only one more game to.